Hello, I'm Tim Willard with the Council for Higher Education Accreditation, and I'm here with Dr. David Carter, Chancellor Emeritus of the Connecticut State University System and also a former chair of CHIA's Board of Directors. We're asking uh, presidents and chancellors some questions about accreditation in light of a new Congress and a new Republican majority in the Senate. As you think about this new Congress in the year ahead, how do you think students and the public think about accreditation themselves? I think most parents, uh, speaking as a parent myself as well as a professional, view accreditation as a seal of approval. Uh, it provides some assurance that quality exists within the institution. And, and most of all, it provides validation for the institution. I've heard numerous times parents say, uh, if the institution's not accredited, my child's not going there. When you think about uh, what's ahead for accreditation, particularly in terms of federal policy and a possible reauthorization of the Higher Ed Act, <laughs> uh, what, what do you see and, and what would you like to see? <laughs> well, I, I wish I had a crystal ball, Tim, but, but not having one, I can only look at the world as I see it now. Uh, I would say to you, on one hand, uh, there's a concern about over-regulatory uh, behavior on the part of Congress, that there needs to be a focus, and I'm sure will continue to be a focus, on accountability. Uh, I should also say that educators by nature have always been concerned with being responsible, being accountable, but I think that's something Congress will focus on. But I also believe that Congress should take into consideration what exists. There's a need not to build a house when a house isn't needed for what it's worth. You've led several colleges and universities during your career. Uh, if you were asked what was one way that a school you had led benefited from accreditation, what would that be? Well, I'm going to cheat and mention two or three. I think, first of all, it helps you assess the extent to which you're doing what you've said you were doing. Number two, you benefit from peer review, which is most helpful in looking at an institution from um, an external perspective, but also enabling those inside to get a sense of whether or not what we're saying is being communicated in the manner in which it has been said. Last but not least, it tells you the extent to which goal displacement has occurred within your organization. And so I would say to you, accreditation helped me as a president and it helped me as a chancellor in terms of determining the extent to which we were moving in the direction of the goals that had been established for our institutions. And so I benefited greatly personally as well. Well, thank you for being with us today and sharing some of your insights. If you'd like more information on accreditation, you can find it on CHIA's website at www.chea.org.